Stream chats. It's the best and worst place on the internet. But today in the lab, we're gonna talk about how you can record your stream chat. All right, so there's a classic way of recording stream chat. You either screen capture it and add it as a source on top or even as the special Twitch, YouTube, Facebook chat sources. And you record that, but there's a big drawback to that. And that's because you lose valuable screen real estate. It's gonna cover your face or some gameplay or something. Or you can have it as part of a special overlay, but it's always gonna be stuck there in that footage. So there's a better way we can do this. Also, not to mention, the chat sometimes has some unsavory messages that'll get slipped through. So if your mod team's not on it, the chat sources don't always block this. So that's a risk as well. All right, so the reason why we're on YouTube is because there's a better way to do things. So what you're gonna wanna do is set up another scene, add the chat source of your choice. So Twitch or YouTube, and usually these require the URL of your channel or the URL of your stream event ID. And then this will start pulling the chat once you add it and connect it. Now in the opacity section, you're gonna wanna leave this to full and then set it to a color like green, red, or blue. This will be important later. Then set your viewer's messages to a specific color. You can leave it as the default color that the viewers pick on the platform, but I recommend setting this to a specific color, important again later. Then leave your text color as white or not the same color as the opacity box basically and set the font size however large or small you want it. And then, you know, full screen that source. And then I recommend adding scene as a source of your live scene. This will help sync it up in posts and make your life a lot easier. And just set that scene, make sure to name it and don't switch to it whenever you're streaming as well. All right, so now we're gonna set up the recording settings. So set up another recording output and then select this scene that you've just set up as your chat source scene. Quality doesn't need to be high, it's just text and then hit OK and then record this scene while you're streaming and also doing your other recording. And then once that's done, drop it in your editor, drop this file on top of your archive and then use that scene as a source to kind of, you know, link the footage up together. And then you just hit chroma and this is why making sure that the username color is different from the background colors because if you use chroma and a viewer had like a green background, it'll probably lose that name. If you don't mind that, just leave it. But now you can see the messages layered on top and now you can position this, maybe crop out the live scene as a source as well, but you can crop this and zoom in and do more cool effects and basically be a lot more flexible with archives that include chat on top. So it's a pretty cool trick and hopefully that was useful, but I want to know from you, like, do you like to layer chat on top of your stream or do you use it in your YouTube uploads or recordings? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was useful, share this video as well, and subscribe for the next time we're in the lab.